starters. So today we are going to talk about lines. A line is just a dot that moves. So there are all different kinds of lines and today we're going to learn about so many different types of lines. So we'll start with the most simple line. Can you guys think of any different types of lines? What? I can't hear you. All right, you're right. We can start with a straight line. So you're going to draw a line in the air with me. So here we go. We're going to do a straight line all the way across. Let's try that again. Press down and all the way across makes a straight line. So I wore my hair curvy on purpose because I think someone said a curvy line. So a curvy line looks like this. Can you draw it with me? All right. Our next line reminds me of the road. Have you seen this kind of line on the road? It's a dashed line. So it goes just like that. Let's do that together. All right, good job. So the next one is kind of similar. It's pretty fun. It's called a dotted line. So it goes. You ready to do that with me? All right. Um, so the next type of line reminds me of a roller coaster. It's a loopy line and it goes like this. Whee! All right, it's your turn. We'll dry it from the top to the bottom. Whee! After that goes a castle line. This one's a little bit tricky, but I know you can do it. So we're gonna go across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up, across, and then just keep going. Do you wanna do that with me? All right, across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up. Very, very good. So our next line reminds me of a bunny hopping. It's a cloudy line or a scallops line and it goes like this. All right, it's your turn. Oh, let me do it this way too. There we go. All right, so we've got just a few more lines to learn about. The next line is a swirl. So we're gonna pretend like we're making a circle, but when we come back around, we're not gonna to touch, we're gonna to make it bigger. We can just keep going around and around. Why don't you try that with me? We're gonna go like this, but we're not gonna to touch. Just keep going around and around. And the last line we have to learn about is a curved line. So that's just a line that goes like that. All right, you ready to try that with me? Just like that. Good job. So now we're gonna make an artwork using some different types of lines. So you're gonna need a few supplies. Um, I will let you know what you need to pull out and so we'll get started here soon. All right, so I decided I didn't have enough lines in my outfit and I needed a few more, so I changed my outfit really quickly before I got started. You're going to need a black drawing tool that could be, I'm using a permanent marker. If you're gonna use a permanent marker, get adult permission first, um, but a regular marker works just fine. A crayon would be great to use. Um, colored pencil um, would probably work okay as well. And then I'm gonna find a piece of plain paper. So I found some white paper. If you don't have any white paper, you could use the inside of a paper bag if you have that. You could even um, have an adult cut like the lid off of a cardboard box or something like that and use that. So there's all kinds of different things that you can use. We're gonna practice drawing our lines on that paper. So I'm gonna start here with my straight line. I'm gonna start on one side and go all the way across to the other side, just like that. Your paper does not need to be upright like mine is. I just wanna make sure you can see what I'm doing. 
So our next line that we're going to do, we're going to do a zigzag line. So we're going to go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zig, zag, just like that across our paper. All right, let's see. What line do you think we should do next? Oh, I like the curvy line too. So I can do a curvy line. It's going to just go swoop like that all the way across my paper. Let's see. Oh, you guys said the dashed line. All right, so I can do a dashed line. It's going to go across my paper just like that. All right, another line that we can come up with, a loopy line. So I'm going to go wee, just like we're riding a roller coaster. Wee, all the way across our paper. So we haven't done our cloudy line yet. So that's gonna be like a bunny hop. So our bunny's gonna hop, 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 all the way across our paper. Oh, we haven't done a dotted line yet. I'll do that up here at the top. It's gonna go Now I'm not slamming my marker down. I'm just gonna do that gently and make those lines. Let's see the other lines that we're missing. We're still missing a wavy line. So this one's gonna go up and over, now down and around, up and over, down and around, up and over, down and around, up and over, down and around. I know it's hard to see with my arm in the way. I'm sorry about that. We still need to do a curved line. So I'll do that at the bottom, like a big smile that goes like that. And we haven't done a castle line. I don't have much room, but I'm gonna do a little castle here. So remember it goes across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up, across. And there's just one more line that I'm gonna try and find a little bit of room for here. And that is our swirl. So I think I'm gonna do our swirl right here. So I'm gonna go around the knot touching around and around like that. And I'll do another swirl over here. It's gonna go around and not touching around and not touching around like that. And oh, I've got room for one here so I can go around and not touch and keep going around like that. Can do one here, around and not touch and around like that. One more, around and not touch and around like that. So we've practiced all of our lines. Now the next thing that we can do is we can start to color in between the lines. Now boys and girls, when I color in between the lines, I really like to take my time. So I start by making a fence like this so that I don't go over those lines. I made those lines and I don't really wanna go over them if I can help it. Now you can use paint if you want to, you can use crayons, whatever you want. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna outline this bottom line too, cause again, I don't wanna go over the line if I can help it. And now when I color in, I'm gonna use short little lines that are close together so that I make sure I'm filling in completely without scribbling. See, when I make big lines, then I leave white marks there and it's gonna look much better if we take our time and fill it in completely. So I'm just gonna go over that short little lines that are close together. All right, now I don't want you to take forever to work on this. Um, not saying you need to rush, but you can spend a little bit of time coloring in some of the parts. And if we leave some of them white, we will get that next week. So you can see I've colored in some of my lines. I've got a little bit more time before art class is over for me. So I'm gonna spend a little bit more time coloring in. I'll show you what I have when I'm done. Um, but if you are all out of time, then you can just save it till next week. 
Now, this project we are going to continue to work on. A lot of times in art class, it may take us more than one week to finish an artwork. So we will definitely come back to this again for our next art class as well. So please don't do anything with this. Just hold on to it and save it. Hopping on Flipgrid really quickly, you can do two things. Number one, you can find your response from last week. I left you um, a little response on your video. And you can just show me your picture and tell me your first and last name. Okay, good to see you. I can't wait to see what you do.